Patanjali and in this video I am going to explain you few important definitions related to classes, objects and inheritance in Java. So these definitions are important from your board point of view for class 12 and otherwise also if you are doing Java, these definitions are a must which you should know if you say that you know Java. So a few and uh, very basic questions regarding classes and objects are these listed over here. I'm explaining you the answer to all these questions and to download this, you can click on, click on the link in the description section and download the PDF for having the answers with you. Okay, to start with, the first question says, what is a class with reference to object orientedness? Now, when we talk about object orientedness, object means anything which has certain features and operations which you can perform on that and a class is a general description for similar type of object. So, we define it like this only. A class is a general description of similar type of objects. It can also be called as a blueprint for objects which have common type of properties and methods to be performed on them. Example, a car is a class. So when you say car, it's a class. But every individual car is an object of that class where we define cars with the help of the properties as like the model, the company, uh, the engine and so many other features of car. But Every car is an object of a class named car. Similarly, you have pen. Pen is a class, but every individual pen is an object of that class, which may have features as the level of ink, the color of ink, the type of nib of the pen and all that stuff. So that's what a class is and how it can be defined. Second question is, what is the difference between a class and an object? A very simple but commonly asked question. So class is the description for similar type of objects, whereas Object is an instance of a class, means it's just one type of thing which belongs to that class. What is the difference between private, protected and public scope or visibility mode? So they ask you scope, they ask you visibility mode, they ask you access specifiers, it all means the same thing. So private means that those members which are accessible only within the class, they can't be used outside the class anywhere. Protected members are those which we define inside the class, but I want them to be used within the class and their subclasses when inheritance is used. If there is no inheritance, protected members behave as private only. Then we have public members, which can be used anywhere within the class, within the subclasses, and anywhere outside that. But when it is used anywhere outside that, then we use it with the name of your object like a.l, something like that. So that's the difference between private, protected, and public. Question number four says, what is method or function overloading? So a method or function is a named block of code which is used to work something which we did in the last video. So what do we mean by overloading of that? So overloading is when you have more than one function with same name but different prototype. That is different number or type of arguments passed to the function. Like for example, I've shown here that there is a function named area which receives two in arguments int l int b both are integer type and it's returning the area of rectangle excuse me then uh, return is capital r but it should not be capital r it should be small r that's a typing error so you can correct that okay second function over here is double area which receives a value of type double and finds the area of a circle and returns that now if i call area 7 comma 9 obviously it will call this one because two values are passed and both the values are of type integer and if I call area 7.3, it will call this one because one double type of value is being passed. So Java will decide of its own which function should be executed depending upon how many values and which type of values you have passed as arguments over here. So when you write this answer in theory, you must give the example to explain the difference. Then it could be asked, what is method or function overriding? Now, when we have inheritance, we might have overwriting. That is, if you define a function with same name, same prototype in the derived class, that is in the subclass, as we have one in the superclass. So, if you have a function show in superclass and you make a function show in derived with no arguments in both cases, that's called function overwriting. Or even if you have arguments, that should be same in the number. Then another important aspect is polymorphism. So it could be asked, what is polymorphism? Polymorphism is a French word which means many things. So a same thing can be used in many forms, many forms, polymorphism. 
So when a single operator or function behaves differently based on the number and type of values used, it's called polymorphism. A very simple example of that is plus sign. If you use plus with numbers, if I write 3 plus 7, it gives me 10 because it knows 3 and 7 are integers and it will add them up. But if you use the same plus sign with strings, it will join them. It will concatenate it. If I write double quotes hello plus double quotes world, it will give me hello world. So same plus sign behaves differently based on the thing, whether it's being used with integers or with strings. That's polymorphism. Another important feature of OOPS is inheritance. So it could be asked, what is inheritance? So inheritance is to create a new class using an existing class. It inherits the features of one class to create a new class and we can also add extra features to that. A good example for this could be like if you have already a class named rectangle which has length and breadth, we can inherit that to make another class named cuboid by just adding height to it. So here the rectangle class is called super or base class and the class which we have just created that's cuboid is called sub or derived class. Depending upon how many classes are involved in inheritance, we have different types of inheritance. So these type of inheritances are five, that is single inheritance, when one class is inherited to second, that's like rectangle and cuboid. Then is multi-level inheritance, when you have multiple levels of inheritance, like class circle inherited to cylinder, cylinder inherited to cone, so that's multi-level. Then we have multiple inheritance, when more than one super classes are inherited to a single subclass. Then is hierarchical inheritance when one super class is inherited to more than one subclasses. For example, I have bank account class which is inherited to saving account, fixed deposit account, current account. So that becomes hierarchical inheritance. Then hybrid inheritance is mixture of all other type of inheritances. So if you have combination of all other type of inheritances, that's called hybrid inheritance. Okay, these are the types of inheritance that could be asked. Then comes which keyword is used to inherit a class. So for 12th board, you have to maximum just learn what are the keywords and types of inheritances only. So the keyword used is extends. So extends keyword is used to inherit the class. Remember, extends in, in small letters and it's extends, not extend. Extends key, keyword is used. So if I have to inherit rectangle to cuboid, I have to write class cuboid extends rectangle and then I can write the further code. Okay. Okay, 10th question is, which type of inheritance is not supported in Java? Yes, out of these five, one inheritance is not supported in Java and that's multiple inheritance. So multiple inheritance is not supported in Java. So these are 10 important questions that you must go through for your board exam for class 12th. And as a general Java programmer, you must know about all these terms. So I hope you understood what the basic concepts I've explained with this. In case you have any other question in your mind or any doubts related to this, do write in the comment section below. Thank you.